Welcome to Adip Tutorial. This time we will introduce you the potential ometer module. This one, besides we need BBC micro bit, Adip micro bit expansion bolt, three jumper wires, and a USB cable. Before connecting, I'll tell you the change of our new expansion bolt. Previously, some users found dim screen display. Ultrasound failed to read data when using LCD1602 with our expansion bolt. These are both because of insufficient power supply. Now we have added three 5V interfaces to this expansion bolt. How to use it? The micro bit doesn't have a 5V power supply. We just plug the USB cable into this port and then switch it on, there will be 5V. Now we connect the potentiometer to the micro bit. Look at these three jumper wires. The red wire connects to the anode of the potentiometer. The black connects to cathode. Orange connects to port A and then connect the other end of the jumper wires red to anode black to cathode and orange to P0 finally we connect to the computer Next, let's explain how the potentiometer works. The potentiometer is actually a variable resistor. According to the formula, the resistance changes and the voltage changes accordingly. So the potentiometer adjusts the output voltage by changing the resistance. Now write the code, open the browser, open make code, and then add new project. Make a variable. Click pins. Set the P0 to read the data of the potentiometer. And then display on the matrix LED. Make a copy and drag here. Open the download plugin. Then download the code to the microbit. Complete. We can see now we rotate the potentiometer from minimum to maximum. Its value changes will be displayed on the matrix LED. So based on this, let's learn to control the matrix LED with potentiometer. Open new Python. and then open the code of another kit. You can see the code, it is very simple. Firstly, include the microbit header file. Then, in while true, define brightness as the analog value of reading P0. It means we set the brightness between 0 to 9. Display the LED on coordinates 2, 2. That is the LED right in the middle of the matrix. Delay 10 milliseconds. Now click flash. Download the code to the micro bit. Now we rotate the potentiometer from maximum to minimum. The LED in the middle of the matrix will darken. 
to out, and in turn, it will slowly light up. In this tutorial, we learn to read the value of the potentiometer and control the brightness of the microbit matrix LED with the potentiometer. How about being bold and wild to make more experiments? For example, to control another connected LED, control the sensor we have talked about before. Well, if you have any questions, post to our forum. We will reply to you soon. See you next time.